here we discuss uh, the next stage of the massive stars uh, life so that is uh, the supernova so the supernova is actually the gravitational collapse of the uh, supergiant star so supergiant star in the material nam kariyam adu ingane material ella consume cheyithu fusion vari kaniyondirikkana so illi korchu oda materials e ullu appo adu kondu thane adine energy supply koranju koranju irikkana appo so uh, this um, uh, will undergo another uh, gravitational collapse that is the death of the uh, massive star so this uh, amazing process uh, is called supernova so the gravitational collapse of the star is called supernova so here we discuss the formation of the elements in this including iron and the supernova stage okay when the nuclei in the core of the star collide energy is emitted and this energy is flowing from the core uh, and surrounding shells and this energy is the consequence of the strong force of attraction between the nucleons nucleons means the neutrons and the protons so but the protons also repel each other uh, by a weak electric force so this has the consequence on the life of the high mass star so uh, attraction at uh, a point where energy has been released uh, so um, the energy has been output but due to the repulsive effect of the protons iron in a column could the number of protons illa elements idil form cheyan kaliyilla karena iron se thane 26 protons undu appo idin a column could the number of protons in the repulsive effect dominate cheyum and energy should be supplied into the system so iron aan final aayittu form cheyna element ജിയർജി Uh, associated with the formation of so, silicon burning where energy release is done and the same energy release is done that is due to the proton proton repulsion okay so um, uh, the result is that the iron rich core that has no nuclear reaction taking place with it appo so, silicon burning kazhinj iron form cheythu kazhinjal pinne avada core il iron aan undavu majority iron aan undavu and there are no nuclear re reaction taking place uh, because of the uh, proton proton repulsion no energy release in this uh, formation of the iron so the core mainly consists of uh, iron after a long period of time so surrounding the inert core of iron there will be various shells of nuclear burning and this process uh, cannot uh, continue much longer since the elements are depleting fastly in the star as the star ages and the astronomers use a variety of techniques to find the life of the stars uh, so observations are made and the theoretical models are devised uh, so that they fit the observation so in the case of uh, supernova appo ingane ulla or stage la supernova formation varunathu so um, what we know about the supernova come from the theoretical and mathematical calculations Uh, because it is not easy to see what is happening in the central region of the star so the description of the events of the high mass star is based on theoretical predictions and those predictions are seen to fit the observations also and during the final according to this prediction during the final days of the star the core of the inert iron which has no nuclear reactions um, taking place is surrounded by the shells of silicon oxygen neon carbon helium and hydrogen uh, we have already discussed that the inner iron core is surrounded by the different shells uh, first it is covered by silicon uh, shell then neon shell oxygen shell carbon shell helium shell and finally hydrogen shell and a region of non burning hydrogen so according to the theoretical model the core can be thought as a white dwarf star surrounded by the outer layers of red giant star 
so this y dwarfs are is uh, supported by the pressure of the degenerate electrons and there is uh, a limit to the mass of the y dwarf star the uh, chandrasekhar limit so when the core uh, surpasses the limit that means the mass of the core increases above the chandrasekhar limit um, its weight become too great to be uh, supported by the degenerate electron and it collapses so uh, initially uh, core le uh, uh, drop aayirunnu appo adinte mass increase cheyana so idu the mass increase cheyidha appo chandrasekhar limit cross cheyumbo adinte uh, degenerate electron pressure na avade exist cheyan pattilla and uh, the star will collapse there is a gravitational collapse idu an supernova so a, a consequence of this core contraction there is an increase in density Uh, which in turn gives you a process called neutronization. So, our um, density increases, you know, and there is a process called neutronization. So, in this process, the electrons uh, react with the protons uh, in the ion nuclei to form neutrons. Electrons and protons combine to form the neutrons plus neutrino. Uh, so, this neutronization reaction will also produce the neutrino. So then, more and more electrons will react with the protons. Uh, so there are uh, only a few uh, left to support the core and uh, resist the compression. So electron degenerate pressure decreases. The you know, protons in the number of core. You know. So this result in the speeding up of contraction and actually uh, there will be a collapse of the star. So the contraction increases. There is a gravitational collapse. Um, and it only takes about a second for the core to collapse from radius of thousands of kilometers to 50 kilometers so patrain pattern night the collapse uh, second le 1000 kilometer radius le uh, collapse it uh, shrink it uh, 50 kilometer radius it maarum um, and only a uh, few seconds it uh, shrinks to 5 kilometer radius so patrain radius korayunu and the core temperature also increases uh, During this time, about uh, 500 million Kelvin, and the gravitational energy is released as a result of this core collapse, and uh, this is equal to the sun's luminosity for several billion years. A stream and dense energy is released, and the most of this energy is in the form of neutrinos, and some energy is in the form of gamma rays, uh, and these gamma rays are created due to the extremely hot core temperature. and this gamma ray photons uh, have so much energy that when they collide with the ion nuclei this uh, ion nuclei is broken down into alpha particles uh, alpha particles are doubly ionized helium or they are just helium nuclei so uh, this gamma particles uh, combine with the ion to form uh, helium nuclei and this uh, process is called the photo disintegration photo means photon or gamma ray is uh, Um, responsible for this, and this process is called photo disintegration. So after a short interval of time, uh, means of the order of 0.25 seconds, the central white dwarf, which is having the mass 0.6 to 0.8 times the solar mass of the collapsing core, will reach a density equal to that of the atomic nucleus. Nucleus will density will be high. I am not saying 4 into 10 to 27 kilogram per meter cube border line. It is it is very 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 dense. But that density, you know, I mean, about Earth and the mass of our object, um, the same density in that, that is 300 meters diameter. So, what are they? What are massive white objects? So, if you have a ball, it will compress it. It will be the same density. So, the Earth, uh, the density, I mean, Earth should be compressed to uh, 300 meters. Okay. So at this point, the neutrons become degenerate, and they strongly resist any further attempts of compression. Neutrons to degenerate down, no? and uh, they resist the compression. Uh, so the core of the star can now be thought as a neutron star, and the innermost part of the core suddenly becomes rigid, and the contraction abruptly stops. Um, And the innermost part actually rebounds outward and pushes back against the rest of the infalling core, and driving outward in a pressure wave. Uh, so this is called a core bounce. So there there is a core bounce in the uh, innermost part that rebounds outward and pushes back against the uh, rest of the core. 
so this is called a bound core bounds so and uh, there is a shock wave that moves uh, outward due to this uh, so mm, uh, the core also cools at the stage and causes the pressure to decrease uh, uh, significantly in those regions that surround the core temperature decreases pressure decreases and the balancing between the gravitational force and the pressure force will upset and as a result the material that surrounding the core now falls inward at a velocity close to 15 percentage of the speed of the light but not a contract in so this inward moving material encounters the outward moving pressure wave uh, which, is in, uh, which can be moving at uh, 1 by 6 of the velocity of light so inward moving material and outward uh, moving pressure wave uh, encounter you know so in a fraction of second uh, the falling material moves back outward towards the star surface appo idu undi pressure force undu adu tirichu star inde surface like enna tichu so the upward moving uh, pressure wave in the speed increase you know as it encounters the less dense regions of the star and it achieves uh, a speed uh, greater than the velocity of sound so now the pressure wave act like a uh, shock wave so e shock wave in the uh, outward movement and the figure la represent edirikkunathu and this figure shows the evolution of a supernova explosion this represents the stages in the supernova explosion so those neutrinos uh, produced as the uh, result of the neutronization will escape from the star in a few seconds but uh, it takes uh, a few hours for the shock wave to reach the surface so most of the material of the star is pushed outward by the shock wave and is expelled from the star uh, at the velocity many thousands of kilometers per second so the energy uh, released during this event is uh, a very very high of the order of 10 to the power 46 joules okay uh, which is 100 times more than the entire output of the sun during the last 4.6 billion years. So, for the supernova explosion, the sun is 3 years of energy and the sun energy release. And uh, the visible light we observe is only about only 1% of the total energy released during the supernova explosion. So, supernova explosion is now energy is very enormous. So recent studies have proposed that 96% of the material making up the star may be ejected into the interstellar medium at this stage. Uh, and this is used for the future generations of star formation. We have already done the star formation picture in supernova variant. The 96% of the material ejected into the future future stars form the but before the matter is rejected, uh, uh, it is compressed to a high degree that uh, new nuclear reactions can occur within it. And this reaction uh, can form all other elements heavier than iron. So, this matter is rejected in the compression bond, uh, nuclear reactions that will happen to you. Elements such as zinc, uh, tin, gold, mercury, lead, and uranium are produced up initially a core lion matter and diagonal p compression going to new other elements are also formed so all the stuffs that make the earth solar system that are formed longer ago in the supernova so this new supernova explosion or the explosion of the star surface due to the shock wave is the cause of the tremendous increase in the luminosity but after a few months uh, the surface will cool and the brightness will uh, fade. So during this later stage, the main source of supernova's light is from the radioactive decay of nickel and cobalt nuclei, which is uh, which are produced in the supernova event. And this decaying nuclei of uh, nickel and cobalt can able to keep the supernova shining for many years. And uh, there are about uh, 100 supernova in a year in our galaxy from the statistical point of view. Okay, thank you.